here's a cool piece of tech that you or I will probably never be able to afford. The Lycro Emerge. No, it's not a droid from the new Star Wars movie, or some sort of Bond villain mind control device. It's a virtual reality camera, but even among virtual reality cameras, it's something special. If you've never heard of Lytro and their light field cameras, suffice it to say that they manufacture a sensor that has many tiny little lenses on it that work together to capture an image that can be refocused after it has been taken. Up till now, their cameras have been interesting, but more of a novelty than anything else. However, with Emerge, Lytro is attempting to push its way to the cutting edge of professional filmmaking. The Emerge uses the same sensors as previous Lytro cameras, but on a far greater scale. A normal VR video allows you to look around from a fixed point. You can look in any direction, but you cannot move your head away from the point at which the video was shot. Video shot with the Emerge is different. Viewers of this camera's VR footage will be able to move their field of view throughout a square meter around their heads, and the video will readjust its focus to correspond to the movement of your head. That may not sound like much, but it will drastically increase the immersive nature of VR video. Also, in the future, they will manufacture even larger cameras that will offer greater freedom of movement. The problem is cost. The device itself will set you back hundreds of thousands of dollars. Even renting it will cost you thousands per day. It's really not surprising. Aside from the thousands of multifaceted sensors are ranks of servers, since traditional hard drives and SD cards are incapable of handling the deluge of information that the Emerge puts out. Besides, the professional filmmakers this device is aimed at are used to renting ultra-expensive equipment. Eventually, Lytro plans on creating cameras and software that will enable the creation of perfect visual environments. As the CEO of Lytro describes it, Imagine a video game where instead of having the weird motion-captured CG-rendered people, you can actually have photorealistic people. I find this very exciting indeed. It puts me in mind of the holodeck from Star Trek. Truly, Lytro is giving us a taste of the future of entertainment.